Halloween, my friends, and welcome back to my World in Progress series, which is a series to improve my building here in my original Minecraft world from 1.19, and you can check out the full playlist up in the corner. Today, I want to build in a swamp, but not any old swamp. I have the perfect one just over here, over the hill from our beautiful little winter cabin. We have the most gorgeous terrain ever. Look at this place. We've got a floating nether portal. We've got so many pretty little hills and things surrounding this really cute little swamp. And of course, this is where I have built a witch farm. We did this on a stream a while back, actually, not gonna lie. We have now Lots and lots and lots of redstone. So much redstone. If we come up here to our little AFK spot, we get a pretty good view of what's going on here. So what I want to do today is a spooky swamp build. And it's going to be a lot of work. But it's going to be so much fun. I have a lot of thoughts about what we're gonna do in here. And the first thing is, of course, going to end up being trees. We're probably gonna clear out all of these vanilla oak trees, I think. And we're going to then add in a bunch of custom trees. Now, before we get to tearing these oak trees down, what we're gonna do is we are going to mess around here for a second with how to build this tree. I have extensively talked about how bad I am at building trees. It's still a problem. So we are going to play around with what we can here and see if I can't get at least a little bit better. Now, the good news here is that these are not gonna be huge trees, but we do want them to kind of have that like mangrovey feel. I'm trying to walk the line between like a bayou swamp kind of thing, but not quite so deep South American, if that makes sense. All right, let's take a quick look at this so far. All right, these roots need a little bit more connection. And I don't know. Let's see if we put that there and then maybe we add a third root as well. And then I want this trunk to not look quite so square. Okay, I mostly like it. It's a little bigger than I want most of my trees to be, but I am happy with leaving a couple of bigger ones around. I do think because it's a little bigger than I intended that the bottom, the trunk, needs to be just a little bit bigger, a little bit more attached to the ground. So now we need to add a few viney bits. The good news is that my weakest point when it comes to trees is usually uh, adding the leaves. And well, these particular trees are not going to have leaves. I just can't get over this gorgeous terrain. And honestly, I'm really glad there's gorgeous terrain because then it means I don't have to do any terraforming. Anyways. That does look pretty cool. I almost feel like that is a little bit more along the scale that we want. Like, looking at it in the context of the full swamp. But yeah, just a couple little extra, like, knobs and things like that will help these trees out immensely too. Okay, we have a great start with these couple of trees. And now, well... I gotta tear down a bunch of trees. I think this is gonna make a very satisfying time lapse, so let's go ahead and run our very first time lapse in this entire series. That's not true. L let's do a time lapse.
All right, I never want to build another tree again. I will say though, they do look pretty cool. So we've got a bunch of swampy trees built in here and I'm kind of thinking that I want to put in like a giant tree that's shading over the whole thing so that the, the swamp is also dark. Unfortunately, that's not gonna happen today. I, I, I can't build more trees and I don't have the leaves or the time to harvest the leaves to back that up. It's really interesting. I have just been playing in Amplified Terrain in my Minecraft versions series, which go check it out. I'm experiencing old Minecraft for the first time, which is pretty cool. But like these hills remind me of the terrain in Amplified. So I am so here for it. Anyways, I may come in and do more trees, but I want to put in a few vanilla trees in here as well as uh, start working on our first build. Okay, so the very first thing that we want to do is we want to plant some uh, vanilla trees in here. Kind of fill in the gaps. Look at this, look at this really cool spot here. I swam down in here and like killed a bunch of glow squid. It's really cool. I don't know what biome it is, cause like, technically I think it's just swamp, yeah. Swamp and taiga. But we've just got this giant cavernous lake and I love it. I definitely want to do some fun things with this, so give me your ideas because I'm not sure what I want to do with it yet. It's interesting to me, I had never really noticed that the swamp has like different colors of grass in it. Like this is all swamp still, which is really interesting. We're gonna add some mangrove trees around and I wanna see what acacia trees look like in this biome. Okay, they don't have vines. I was hoping that they would grow with vines. I don't wanna put too many vanilla trees in, but I do think I need them to fill in the gaps because woo, I've already built, what, 50? They are very odd trees. I will give them that. They look like they're out of a Dr. Seuss book or something. I do want to dig out this canal a little better. I like having it here. We dug it out in order to bring the raid captains over here. There we go. That looks a little less like strip cut out to be one wide deep so we can boat through, <laughs> which is exactly what it was. I forgot that I'll probably want to do a little bit of terraforming. Um, we're going to create a little island. Yes, die, which is a low storage system. I am in need of some dirt. I pick grass, too. But mostly dirt. Okay, this should be more than enough. As it turns out, that was not enough dirt. All right, let's look at this from above. Yeah, we've got just a small little island. I was not intending for it to be large at all. And I think now we can start building the structure. So what this island is going to have on it is it's going to have a broken down little stone tower. Okay, so we have the circle laid out here, and what we're going to do now is we're going to build up our mossy patches first, because the, the area is wet and dank and swampy, right? So we're going to have mossy bits just rising from the ground in this build. Okay, so now we have these big mossy bits, and what we're going to do is we're going to bring in a little bit of actual moss. And look at that one. That one connects right up to actual moss in the terrain. Heck yeah. That was totally intentional. Definitely. That's how much I think about my builds and plan them out. And then the other thing that we need to add then is a little bit of mossy cobble. And I think that's going to push us to add in just a little bit more of the mossy stone around as well. Alright. 
Let's take a little look at our mossy bits. That looks nice. That looks that looks really nice actually. So now we just need to add our stone bricks and then the next set of texture. Wow, shocking I didn't bring enough materials for this. In fact, I didn't bring nearly enough materials for this. What I'm learning from this is that I desperately need Swift Sneak, which like, to be fair, I already knew, but it is getting dire, friends. Okay, so the next thing that we're going to do is we're going to build up a few, like, spiky pieces of tower rubbleness. We're gonna fly down and see how our sticky uppy points are looking. Ooh, okay, I like that shape. I do think I need a bit more sticky uppy bits in the back there. There we go, that's the shape we needed to see. Okay, awesome. So now what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna go around and line most of this with like cracked brick, but especially the lower areas are gonna need a lot of this cracked stone brick because those are the parts that have crumbled away. Oh, heck yeah. Yes. We get these little bits of cracks running down the side of this thing. Oh man. Yeah, so so stone brick is a really intense texture when it's all by itself, but I think this actually looks really good. Obviously, it's looking great. However, there is one problem here. We need an entrance for this thing. Not because we actually need to access it, but because it looks really weird to have a tower with no entrance. And I'm trying to decide which side to put the entrance on. I think the two sides that make the most sense are this side and then this side. I tend to see this side as the front, and it's facing an open area of water, so it would make sense to like for this to be the front and there to be a little dock here. I think that's what we're going to do. Then we can add something that looks a little like that. Let's see. I think I'm going to put a stair there. I think that's where I want to put the second post. Yeah, that's so cute. All right, and then we put another little lantern there. Excellent. Now this obviously is um, falling down, long been abandoned. I think we need some leafage. But like, look at that, that's awesome. Um, let's add just a little bit of our birch leaves to this. I am very much in love with this. I think that I can safely say that these are my best looking vines that I've done so far. I like them a lot. Let's add just a little bit on the insides as well since we can see the inside. The vibe I was going for here is broken down Skyrim tower basically. Um, you know, all of the different readouts and stuff like that. That's what I wanted this tower to feel like, except swampy and I think I have accomplished that. We're gonna add just a little bit of basic stuff. Make it look a little bit Skyrim-y. And there, it's nothing fancy, but it doesn't need to be. I am worried that our light levels are, yeah, they're too low over here, so we'll have to add a couple more lanterns. And let's just spam a couple more torches in here as well. Were you wondering what the bits of copper were for? Well. No, let's get to it. Yeah, it's just a little tiny bit, but it highlights our little window frame. And then we just repeat on the other two sides that don't have doors, and I don't remember what height I built that window at. And the last thing to do, where did I throw my pickaxe? Aha. And the last thing to do is to change this to having a trapdoor there. And with a little light on the island, I think this is about finished. I wanna change this little AFK location. And what we're gonna do is we're going to turn it into a little cloud. 
Let's take a look at what that looks like. Oh, that's such a cute little puff of cloud. I love it. Now, I think the next thing that I want to add is going to be over in here. I think right here is actually a good spot to put it. What I want to do is I want to make a skeleton. Just casually laying right in the middle of our swamp. Very cheery. Not spooky at all. Oh my goodness. Look at it. Look at it from underwater. Oh, that's so cool. And we could even come down into this little spot and put more like rib bone kinds of things. Yeah. And then we can make something that's just kind of like the top of a skull or something. Well, I love that little detail. And I think in order to go on to the next part of this, I'm going to need to go trade up a bunch of quartz. So I'm going to go spend some time doing that. And then I'll bring you guys back for our next and most detailed build. So I've been a little busy adding lots and lots of pieces around our swamp. Little details of the swamp forest itself. And also... Doing a little, doing a little fun, oh, let's get out of here. Doing a little fun detailage with the tower as well, adding things like coral and a little bit more cracked stones, things like that. But now, I am ready to get going on our main build <laughs> for this thing. Yeah, the, the swamp was all just set up. We're here for the main event now. I have built this portal up a little bit. I think I might make the actual portal itself even bigger later, but I made this with a little mini nether inside the floating portal island. I love it. Why is there fire here? That's just rude. Why would you do this to me? Now I've collected a whole lot of quartz. Will it be enough? We'll find out. While we wait for the quartz to finish smelting, I have been expanding my cat collection. I grabbed these two over here in this village, and I got a calico cat up at our winter village. Now, I still need three cats, and I'm not sure which ones I'm missing at this point, but I do still need a solid amount of wolves. What? How? Where the heck did you come from? This whole area is supposed to be spawn-proofed, and I know that tunnel's not spawn-proofed, but that tunnel's entirely in warped forest. What the heck? Oh. Apparently it's not all- oh. Alright, now that we got all our materials, let's head over to where we're gonna build this thing. So I've left this area intentionally empty, because this is where I want to put our witch house. And I'm going to try and make sure we leave that pool of lava because I actually really like having it there. We'll continue expanding these trees later, but I just wanted to get them slapped down there so that we could see what we were doing. All right, we need a foundation block for this. And I think tough would actually be the perfect thing for that. Yeah, I think that's what we're going to do at the front and then... We're going to start placing down some bone blocks. Bone blocks first, because I believe they're a little bit, they're a little bit more yellowed and dirty looking than our quartz. And so we want to lean into like the feeling of the swamp water, you know, seeping up into our, our walls. All right, we're probably going to go around and put in a different, different floor. Or, we're probably going to go around and put in a different foundation. I think I'm going to go grab some mud blocks for that, actually. Let's look at the size from above, because this is actually pretty small. Yeah, I think we can go bigger. I think we can go bigger. Let's kind of expand the circularness out this way. All right, let's look at this shape now. Yeah, yeah, okay, this is much more fun. This is a much more fun shape. And 
here's the thing. I'm not great at shapes, and I've never been great at shapes, but this one's fun because it's organic. So I'm just kind of slapping blocks down and seeing what they do, and I really like this. Okay, so this one, I don't want to be huge. I want to have it feel kind of like it's a similar scale to like our solarium. Um, and I think I can start adding a roof on this little outcropping part, I think, I'm is where I'm going to add the first roof. All right, let's go look at that really quick. Now, here's the thing. <clears throat> a flat line around the edge of a roof is not very witchy and organic. So, what we're going to do is we're actually going to um, lower some of these spots and end up making like curved lines with these. All right, let's look at that. Oh uh, yeah, I think if we trim away a few bits as well, we'll end up with more cool shapage. Let's check that out. Yeah, yeah, that's the kind of, that's the kind of shaping we're looking for. What if instead of a bunch of big round windows, we had a few more like tall kinds of windows? We can even make them uneven like that. That's really, I, I like that. We've got the initial basic shape of our witch hut here. And I'm gonna add just a little bit of curve, I think to the towery bit right there. Other than that, though, we should be ready to finish adding roof onto this. Yeah, that kind of shape is exactly what we want. Okay, so now we just go grab our mangrove root. Ooh, yes. We need to put, like, a window here or something like that. Maybe even a little balcony. Ooh, I like that idea. Heck yeah, this is really starting to give spooky, a witch lives here kind of vibe. All right, we need to finish out the trees on the front. And I want to put a little bit like of an awning there-ish, I think. Um, And then we need to cut out a window there. Ooh, look at it. Look at it. It's so pretty. Okay, okay. So I do want a branch going over the doorway and I think I want it to kind of come from there but we do need a little novelty branch something on the other one as well closer to that level all right before we continue some of you have noted that I am very bad at asking for likes and subscribes and all of the YouTube things and part of it is just because I struggle to find a time where it's not awkward to do so so we're just gonna lean into the awkward make it a little awkward if you're enjoying the video please do leave a like and consider subscribing. And let me know down in the comments, once you get to the end of the video, which of the builds or buildy kinds of things in this video you liked the best. Buttons are the best, I have decided. I have decreed it even, but just look at that. That does look both really nice and kind of cozy and also very spooky, which is exactly what we wanted. Before we add things like windows and stuff like that, there's a little detail here in the swamp that I wanted to add, but I wanted to like talk about it specifically. So in my scavenging for cool swampy reference pictures, I discovered a really, really neat, um, I don't know, phenomenon, I guess, where the water in a swamp gets a rainbow sheen on the surface and obviously it has something to do with oils and stuff like that um oils in the water but i wanted to try and give a little bit of that effect in different spots in the water in our swamp so i'm gonna add like a little bit of glow lichen under some of this i want to lean into the spooky lights in the water kind of vibe with this swamp and I think that this 
is one of the many ways we can accomplish that really, really well. Look at that! It's a cool little streaky streak bit underneath. I am here for it. All right, I went and grabbed a little bit more of the dyes that we're gonna need, and the sun is going down, so we gotta be quick. It is certified dark out. <gasps> Look at that rainbowy bit in the water. It's so nice, and it's still pretty subtle, and especially once we have like other lights placed around the swamp, um, to feel eerie. It won't. It won't stand out at all. It'll just be this little subtle watery effect. Same thing right there. That looks so nice. Alright. Let's pop ourselves back over here. Um, we are going to use some colored stained glass windows. Alright. Let's see how that idea seems. Ooh, yes! Okay. So we've got this cool layered glass effect with the red bit in there and the yellow and I love it. How do we feel about the trap doors? I think they're interesting. It kind of makes it look like an eye with an eyebrow. Got a little mustache there. Oh dear. We've made a house with a very strange face. Alright. I've got windows. I've got floors. Now we just need all the fancy bits. And I decided that I'm going to basically do something down there eventually so we put the glass floor in it looks pretty cool honestly I do need a ceiling I'm not actually sure what to do for a ceiling but we're gonna put red lights outside the door and then we can also go ahead where did I put it I think I put it in the shulker box yeah we can also go ahead and put a soul lantern, which will give a little bit more actual light. But I don't want this place to be super brightly lit. Wait, I have the black cat. The black cat needs to live there. All right, I have decided that I'm gonna cover the ceiling in acacia wood. I'm gonna leave just that roof for now so that we can put in some lights and things. All right, so. I brought some chains and some skulk catalysts and then some mini blocks with me. By the way, if you didn't uh, notice, I have Swift Sneak on my pants now. Went to the, an ancient city on stream the other day and got my first skulk stuff. I am excited. I am nothing without my skulk blocks. Let's grab our F3 and see what our light levels are like. Ooh, we get down to one. Do we get down to zero? Not so far. Okay, over towards this side, we're pretty great as far as light goes. Oh, good. Our copper is oxidizing. Three, two, one. All right. There we go. And that lights up that little corner perfectly. I do want a bunch of black candles around, but I think with the dead bush, that's actually... That's awesome. I love it. Let's make this some sort of altar or shrine of some nature, I think. Here we go. I also have a few skeleton skulls from our ancient city raid that would go pretty well there as well. Oh, the water in the cauldron looks so good. I love, I love swamp water. Oh my goodness, this carpet keeps catching on fire. What do I expect for spawn proofing in the nether with carpet? But, you know. It's not like we've learned this lesson before somewhere or anything like that. So on this wall, we're going to put that there. And then we're going to waterlog that. Excellent, excellent. Look at that. And it looks really cool just as you're walking past or whatever. Um, and then this is what's going on in our shrine. Amazing. Love it. I want to put a few cobwebs around. There. And maybe up there. Us. Ooh. Really getting the dark and spooky vibe now. Alright, I don't have a ton of thoughts about the bedroom right now. So I think I'm going to just kind of leave it with what I have got in there. And I'll, I'll mess with it at some point. But this area is looking really nice. 
Now, I will continue detailing this on my own, but before I do that, I want to add a specific type of thing to the swamp. And by a specific kind of thing, I of course mean jack-o'-lanterns. This is another spot where I'm going to use mini blocks. I know, I, I let myself succumb. Oh, interesting. You can't make actual jack-o'-lantern mini blocks. I didn't know that. Anyways, I let myself succumb once and here we are using mini blocks constantly. We can always plant some actual pumpkin vines too while we're at it, you know? All right, let's continue adding a few lights here and there. I may have to add additional lighting to actually reasonably spawn proof the thing, but we can still get ourselves some spooky lights around here and there. Yeah, I am I'm liking the lights so far. You can also see like where we put glow like and at the base of trees and stuff like that, but like the soul lanterns look really spooky at night. I think this swamp is looking great. I have a little bit of time before I have to get this episode out to you guys. So I'm going to keep just working away, detailing the inside of the house a little bit more, adding spooky lights to the swamp, things like that. And I will bring you back and show you the finished result in, well, no time at all for you. All right, are you ready for this? I have spent a little bit of time working on this interior and I am in love. Look at this gorgeous, gorgeous little place. I really think that this is the perfect spot to turn into my new potion brewing area. Because right now, well, it's just shoved in a hole in a cave. So I think we can do better. I'm conflicted on this item frame situation because like on the one hand it's cool to have the nether rack on the plate kind of thing but on the other hand that is just trippy. I want to build a giant pumpkin somewhere in here. I'm not going to have the time. I'm already like well out of time to be working on this episode if I'm being honest but I definitely am not going to have the time to finish this swamp to its full glory. Should I have turned this into a series throughout October? Probably. Am I going to own that fact and then just keep walking forward? Absolutely. Not one of my regions in this world is even close to finished. So, uh, <laughs> why did I expect to finish this in one video? <sighs> Not a clue. Anyways, let's do this pumpkin because I feel like if I do this, it will at least feel a little bit more finished than it does right now. I'm gonna need more pumpkins. Rip me. Oh. That's very sad. Um, I don't I don't like how this looks at all, actually. Um, we should start with that layer for one thing. I have carved a pumpkin once in my lifetime. I'm not the expert on what carved pumpkin faces like even look like <laughs> far from it in fact so yeah this is this is an experience I will I will say that if we set down a jack-o'-lantern an in-game jack-o'-lantern and look at it like the eyes are really big and to be honest, the mouth is really wide too, but I do want this to be a little bit more rounded. So I'm I'm not sure what to do. Bill looks weird. It looks really weird. I don't I don't know what to do. If we put some top slabs up there, we can make the eyes a little bit bigger and taller without being totally wonky looking. Um We would need more black concrete. It looks a little goofy, so we would definitely need to do a little bit of texturing with some of the other blocks and block shapes. Ooh, yeah, I like, I think I like that. I can't quite tell without the black concrete behind it. 
Um, but I'm also not convinced I want to do black concrete. I kind of think I want to do frog lights instead. Ooh, okay, okay. And then if we added some orange glass panes, why doesn't it connect to the pumpkins? Excuse me? Oh, that's really interesting. That's quite odd. I think this is actually pretty good. This is, this is a lot of what we want. Let's grab a little bit of things to make a vine up at the top. Because I think that will finish it out nicely. Oh, that looks cute. And then we just add some leafy sprouts. Yeah! That's cute. Okay. I am, I'm glad we got there in the end. It took a second, but I think this guy turned out okay. He's very cute. And very, very smiley. I like a smiley pumpkin. Now, this guy is very, very cute, and I love him very much. However, I haven't quite figured out how to, like, make any sort of fog effect in here. The only thing I can think of is maybe some sort of, like, glass infinity pool kind of situation, but... That's, that's a lot of glass. I don't have the resources for that kind of project yet. However, I do think this area could benefit from some insanity shaders. Ooh, let's see how my frame rate does here. But, oh, this swamp looks amazing with the insanity shaders. <gasps> this is exactly what it needed. Look at this. Look at this guy. Look at all the glowy bits. Oh, it is so spooky. Those trees are the perfect shapes. I'm obsessed. Officially, absolutely. That's a slime. What? That's a slime in my house. What the heck? I'm sorry. What? I didn't. I did not consider this. The consequences of dim lighting ah okay okay hi guys hello i uh okay mm, that's a thing oh i got a slime head ah i see did the wart the wart did not turn to skull thank goodness Whew. whoops Whoops, that's water. That's water. Whew. All right then. Let's uh shed a little bit of light on the situation. Where did another work go? I've literally used glow lichen to light up a slime farm in a swamp. What was I expecting? Okay. Um, it's going to be mostly like that spot in the floor that needs a little bit more lighting. How should we do this? We could just add like that and not that. Um, that. Yeah, there we go. Okay. And I think most of the other spots that go down to like light level six, seven are in single, single spots. Okay. Maybe not. There we go. That solves that solves that problem really nicely, too. As we wrap up, I want to take one more look at this swamp with these shaders on. This has been an altogether lovely project to work on, and it's really good to feel like more of my world here is developing. I'm really excited. I have so many plans for so many regions, and I I have too many ideas and can't build them fast enough. But this was a really fun project to work on, and I hope that you'll stick around for more in the future. Don't forget to check out the other videos in this series if you missed them, and I'll see you all in the next one. Bye!